In September 2023, my wife and I travelled from Manchester to Dalaman on a two-week package holiday. We came to visit the historic Turkish resort of Dalian. So this is one of the things that Dalian is famous for. In this coming series, we'll be exploring what Dalian has to offer. We'll be looking at Dalian's ancient past. Introducing the irrepressible Jack Lius Caesar. Get off. Ooh. Discovering some of the local cultures and activities. Is this how you expected to spend your wedding anniversary? Not really, because I didn't know them singing like oh. tomorrow. <laughs> we'll also be exploring some of the many restaurants in Dalian. Good evening, welcome to White House! Mm. Oh, Good. We'll be taking you outside the resort of Dalian and show you what sites and activities you can sample. So subscribe to the channel, sit back, relax, as we jump into Dalian and beyond. start of another series this time we are going to head to Turkey and today we're flying from Manchester to Dalaman in this particular episode we're going to focus solely on TUI so ever since Covid TUI's had a few problems here at Manchester Airport so we're going to see what it's like today on our flight so we'll review the check-in process the initial booking online bag drop-off security weights and the flight itself and we'll also review our accommodation when we get there. So this is Jackie's first time in Turkey. Cheers, You're looking yes. forward to it? I am, yes, yeah. I like yeah. it. It's taken us years to persuade her to come. She's, yeah. she's not been so keen on going but finally got there. The food has swayed us. Yeah, food <laughs> as always. So yeah, within this series there's going to be plenty of things coming. We'll do our usual kind of first impressions of the resort. We'll show you our accommodation. We're also going to price up the holiday, so we'll show you at the end how much we've paid over the entire holiday, just to give you an idea what this kind of holiday will cost. We might go paragliding, we're going to arrange that, there might be some paragliding, so we might jump off a mountain. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> for an I will, yes, <laughs> by the end of the holiday. Anyway, we're going to go and get our bags dropped off, we're going to go inside, so let's get going. So before we head through to drop our bags off, Let's take a look at the TUI online check-in process. So we booked this particular package through the TUI website and by doing this you would need to check in online. So 48 hours prior to departure you'll receive an email with some important safety information basically saying that you can't take liquids, electronics and lighters on board. And you should also get confirmation and a ticket from TUI confirming your booking. Again, 48 hours prior to departure, you can check in online and you should receive a notification. So under the online check-in, we've done this on the TUI website and it's quite easy to navigate. So you just continue through once you check all your passport details are correct. Again, there's another safety notice about lithium batteries, lighters, electronics, all this kind of stuff. So then you get through, you should be able to download your boarding pass, which you can either print off or if you do it through the TUI app, download this to your phone. Then you should receive a check-in confirmation and a link to your boarding passes. So we found this check-in process really straightforward and easy to navigate. Just make sure to check your passport details and personal details before confirming. With check-in confirmed, let's go and drop our bags off. already looks like total chaos massive queue checked in online which was easy enough to do but then you've got to come and do all this again and obviously drop your bags off but obviously there'll be a lot of two-way flights leaving the day but uh, yeah quite busy so let's see how long this takes time is now 12 48 see how many minutes it takes to get to the desk so the reason it's so busy is there was a baggage and um, the baggage I think whenever I do that thing, so yeah, broke failed. 
just back on, that's why it's all done. So yeah, it's for that care, so I might be delayed today if that's the case. If there's been some flights leaving within the yeah, last hour or so and then this has been going on, so hopefully we're going to be okay. So 20 minutes in, come to a standstill. Halfway around. We're moving down mm. pretty quick, but apparently there's too many bags going on in one go. So we'll come to a standstill. Just as well we got here a bit earlier than normal. Otherwise yeah, we're otherwise really it's struggling. Like and it's red hot. It's probably the hottest day of the year today as well, which is quite uncommon for us in England. But yeah, we're just queuing here and hopefully we'll get through. I'm ready for a beer already. Yeah, I think the beer last, last night. night's finally gone from your system. <laughs> so last night we stayed in a town called Altrincham, which is only about five miles away from the airport. Um, it's a lovely little town. We got there. It was about 11 o'clock last night. We drove down after work to stop the travel lodge, which only cost 40 pounds. But it was lovely. It was a lovely place. But we ended up going out for a few drinks, and one drink led to another. And before we knew it was three in the morning. Three in the morning. <laughs> And the pubs are still going. Yeah, they were still open. I think, well, actually, they were just <laughs> shutting down when we left. The other one that were, you couldn't get in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, it was, it was good. So, if you're going to fly from Manchester and you're not from the area, recommend going to Altenham because it was a really, really nice town. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much longer we've got a queue here. That took 36 minutes to get through. Once you get to the end of the queue, you've got to show your passport and boarding pass that were printed off yesterday. And then you've got to go and measure, put your uh, baggage on the scales and then like self drop it. Because we've just got our backpacks, we've had to kind of drop it off. It's like class as an oversized bag or something. Right, we're going to go through security. So this is another hot point because apparently security has been a bit of a nightmare here since COVID as well. It did take a little while there, but again, appreciate they're a bit short staff. Do you think it's because the um, baggage thing? Yeah, the baggage thing was knackered at this morning, and then, of course, whatever happened there, there was too many bags going on in one go. Mm -hmm. So That's it did take too. over half an hour, which it doesn't usually take as long as that. But so anyway, right, we're going to go through security, and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, that's security pass, which was actually, it was fine. There's no problems at all. And to be fair, that's not really part of TUI anyway, it's just the, the whole airport experience. But we got through in no time at all. Quite a big snake in queue, but it was just moving all the time, so we got through no problem. So after all that stress, beer? Uh, yes. Let's get some beer. inside just to get to the bar so it's, it's crazy actually. Yeah. I think you were in the bar for more longer than 
again. And it's just like, it's air conditioned. It's so hot. Yeah, it's really you don't really even hot. notice, do you? It's crazy. So never mind. So far, what, what have you thought of the two up to now? I mean, fine, to be fair. Just the queuing at the... We've only really had a queue at the start. And they were telling you what was going on and stuff. So yeah, the bags right, dropped within it was like over half an hour, which is quite a lot compared to what we're used to. Which usually only say 10, 15 minutes. I think if the baggage thing hadn't gone down and there wasn't an issue with yeah, the bags going yeah, through, we would have just been continuous going for once we had to stop way quite a bit for the queue to go down. So one other thing we didn't mention before about what we'll be doing on the series is we'll also be getting Jackie's infamous food review around Dahlia. We've been getting some good suggestions of people on some of the Dahlia forums on Facebook. So we will be testing out quite a few of the restaurants. It's our anniversary on more away. So we're going to have a look at um, Aguilaria Ag Ag something and there's another one which is a little way out of Dalian which we might try so we haven't quite decided which one yet but we'll, we'll be reviewing one of them so thanks for all the suggestions on those because they've been like, really good and giving us a good insight because we've never been to Dalian before. Yeah, quite a lot So what do you think of Manchester Airport? It's just really busy, I think because it's really hot as well yeah. today, it's just um, yeah, I'm used to be sat down and having a cold drink. I know, and then we're going to have to go on board soon. Yeah. So just saying that like, Manchester is quite a big airport, it just goes to prove bigger isn't always better, Jackie. Not speaking from experience, of course, but... Okay, we're going to get the drinks and then we'll be heading off. Our information should be popping up on the board anytime soon. We're going to finish these drinks, check out where we're going and then we'll be heading along the board. Right, we've only had time for one pint. We're going to head to the gate now. So let's see what the boarding process is like with two weeks. So we're just getting to the gate and we're boarding straight away which is good but we've gotten here it's about 20 past three now and we're getting on first so there must be boarding from the back the queue's not too big so off we go we're getting through in probably less than one minute that's probably the quickest <laughs> i'm ever getting through yeah to scan your boarding pass so that's good we're getting through pretty quick a little relief after all the uh, initial stress of manchester airport but it looks like we're just about to get on the plane, so we're just heading there now, so we'll see you on board. Once we get on board, kind of show you how much leg room you get, show you kind of like the menu and stuff, just to know what kind of options you've got for food. And we've also ordered some champagne, because it's our anniversary as we've mentioned, so we'll tell you about that process and how to book that when we get on board. Got quite a bit of leg room actually. Yeah, a lot more than I expected, but you can tell the seats are a lot thinner on the plane now. But for instance, I've got I'm six foot and I've got plenty of room here. My knees aren't touching the back of the seat in front of us. Seats are quite comfortable, leather padded, so they're okay. The seats now also come with USB so you can charge your phone. In terms of the champagne, you're flying with two and you've got a special occasion. You can order champagne and chocolates online. We didn't get the, the chocolates, we just got the champagne. Yeah, you no chocolate for Jatty. I think you've had enough already this holiday. So we paid £35. If you want to order that, you can do that by ringing them. There's a number, I'll leave the number here, you can ring. You can't do it through the app or on the website. You've got to ring the help line. We're just getting boarded now. We're sat here. We're just getting settled. Everybody else is coming on. Let's see how this flight goes. Nothing. 
Nothing is untrue Nothing don't matter It's all notions Of our emotions Of everything we are And what we belong to How we reach our destiny How much you like this food? Okay, so it took a little while to get off. Quite rude, people getting off. Some guy kind of pushed past me, said, Oh, sorry, but still pushed past us. Some woman had uh, a dressing gown on. <laughs> that was a new one. So, anyway, we're just about to go to passport. We're not getting the two we transfer because we've just organised our own private transfer. So we can't judge on how long the transfer will take, what it's going to be like. We've just decided last minute to get a private transfer, which we did this morning. So leave a link to the guy who's taken one. It cost us £20. We just wanted to kind of get out and get away. I just, we're here waiting around on people, so we're just put the private transfer and 
say how it goes. But if it's any good, we'll let you know how it goes. Let's get out with passports. Passports was that easy. Got through like in minutes. But the guy, guy passports pretty much threw, threw me passport at <laughs> the stand and threw it at us. Yeah, so anyway, getting through really quickly. There's nobody here. It's really quiet, which is good. What is it now? Half past 10 at night? 10 to 11 now. We landed like half 10, so 20 minutes from getting off the plane through passport. Can it come plain? Well, Let's go and get our bags. Yes, yeah. yeah. I just see them come off. Mine got thrown on. Another case got thrown on top of it. So see yeah, how this uh, this how it turns out. I probably got stuff all crushed in my bag. This one all that, yeah. Yeah. First off, yeah. you want your turkey teeth? So we'll just come straight out, guy was there waiting, so no bother, straight out, straight in the taxi, more on my way, no waiting around. So this only costs £20 one way, you can do it return, which you give a quarter for, for £40, so it's £20 each way basically. So we'll see how long this takes, I'll let you know if I recommend it or not, but we're certainly going to get there a lot quicker than a transfer bus. Just, to outside, no, didn't, didn't say the tour you got one to come out, but I mean overall it's been okay so far. What we'll do is when we get to our apartment, we'll quickly give you a look over where we're staying and then kind of giving you like the full kind of package of what the whole kind of tour experience is like. But so far it's been okay, it's been okay. Like I say, we've arranged it separate, completely separate. But we'll get to our apartments and we'll show you around there show you what kind of accommodation we've got. It only took about half an hour maybe from the airport. Uh, yeah. It wasn't too far, it was fine. Straight through, roads were pretty quiet, got here no bother. It's now 12 o'clock, we're pretty tired. <laughs> so Jatty's nice and refreshed for the room tour. Probably gonna go to sleep soon, but we need to go and find some water. Maybe it's a beer, <laughs> but we need to get some water because we need to, yeah, we'll have, we need to have a drink. So we're a bit dehydrated, so we need to go and find some water somewhere. I think apparently everywhere is open till half two till four or something in the morning. They said it's only about ten minutes. Yeah, it's walk about a ten minute walk from, from here to the to the town. So we're gonna wrap up now, but the next time you'll see will be the morning and we'll give you two of the room. So we'll say goodbye for now, but we'll catch you again, which will probably be in about a second on here before us. It's an overnighter. <laughs> so we'll see you in the morning. Good night. night. Okay, so it's the day after now. We're kind of settled in, we haven't unpacked or anything. We've been on the go, so we've kind of just dropped everything still. So I have to apologize for the mess in here. But I want to show you the room. First of all, this is reception. So that's the reception area. Now we'll give you the room tour and show you what the accommodation is like where we're staying here. So let's go and have a look. Hello. Come. This is our apartment for the next 10 days. So we have, um, so obviously we've already been here, so it's a bit of a mess. So we've got the bedroom. It's a little small. 
but it's fine. It, it'll do we? Um, the bed's quite comfortable, comfortable though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Two drawers. There's a wardrobe there. I've got stuff away yet. You've got aircon, but you've got to pay six pound a day for mm -hmm. an aircon. It doesn't come with the rooms. So you have to pay extra, but it, it's probably worth it because it's hot. It's very hot. Uh, and you get with this room. We are on the second tier, and oh, where are we? And you get a nice view of the pool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. I've got um three plug sockets. So there's one there, uh, and there's a two above the bed. I've got lights as well. <laughs> I don't know what's going to come <laughs> on. But I think that's the only surface there is in here. The bathroom again, the bathroom's really small. You have the shower, watch your head, watch the yeah, bottom. I'm going to watch my head on there. Uh, yeah, but the shower's quite big. We well, haven't tested it out yet, so I don't know what it's like, but um, yeah, the shower. I'll we'll just give you an example that how tiny this is because. I feel like I'm batting Vietnam. <laughs> Everything's dead small. Yeah. But yeah, that's so you will have to watch, especially if you've had a few beers or whatever. Yeah, yeah watch that because that should do a lot. Get toilet bowl, there's a hair dryer, there is a big mirror and there's a little a little mirror as well on there. You obviously the sink. You do get soap, which is quite good. There's a shower gel and shampoo. And then you come into like a little living area, you've got a chair, two sockets there, TV, and then you've got two sockets here, kitchen, your bin, you've got all your cutlery, spoons and stuff, chopping boards there, that's just a faint throw. There's a microwave, kettle, cook everything, you've got a fridge. Can I just point out one thing with the fridge? When you shut it, the curtain keeps going inside of it. Oh. So I'm not so keen on that. Yeah, and there's no actual like shelves. Yeah, there's no in shelves in it. I mean, to be fair, I'm not going to be. Um, nothing. Uh, but your pots and pans, your crockery. Yeah. Big tea. You want a big tea? Oh, ooh, that's it. <laughs> Got cups, glasses, I want a little. Christ, we like a shot of. <laughs> Vodka. Vodka. And then you got a little balcony. Got a little balcony. There are four chairs. I don't know how you get four chairs out. I know. Um, it's table. quite small. And obviously, yeah, got that. Get out on the pool. Some beds have all got cushions on as well, yeah. so that's really good. That's kind of the complete two-week package, that's kind of everything you get included. So yeah, obviously we've flown from Manchester, which is something we wouldn't normally do, we'd usually fly from Newcastle. But overall, how would you rate Tui and the service on the way here? It's been asked. Kind of fine to be fair, it's been all right apart from the li little bit of delay at the beginning yeah. from the check in. Not necessarily Tui's fault though, that's probably no. it could be the airport's fault, you know. But the flight had, was fine, yeah, there was plenty of room on the flight as well. Um, made up time as well, didn't they? Made the up time because mm -hmm. we were late taking off. I don't know why we were late taking off, but we were late no. taking off. But there was a queue of traffic um, when we left on the, on the runway, they were short staffed as well mm. on the plane, and I think everybody just wanted. Toasties. You normally like nobody would ever have anything, and like everybody just on the plane wanted them. So mm -hmm. that was obviously quite, and it was a, it was a full full plane. Yeah, it was yeah. totally full. Every um, seat was taken. But it was absolutely fine. Obviously, we didn't get the transfer, so we can't comment on that. But yeah, it was been spot on. And the accommodation. Accommodations, yeah. It's 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 as it's basic as it was um, advertised. Basically, yeah, yeah but it's basic. Fine. But it's fine. It's clean. It's tidy. We're about a ten-minute walk from kind of the river area in Dalian, and the main kind of town. It's a little bit further towards like the main street, at the top of the main street. Maybe it's about I don't know another two or three minutes walk, but it's not far. It's not far, and it's it's really nice and quiet here. Yeah? So at night times, mm -hmm. like you don't really hear any noise. And it's, it's just a nice little area. We just like today had a walk around and just some really nice accommodation room here as well. Loads of villas and yeah, stuff. It's but nice it's uh, it's been canny so far. Right. Okay. So that's the first episode done. That's the whole kind of two week experience to Dalaman and Dalian. So if you've liked the video, give it that thumbs up. 
don't forget to leave your comments share the video and don't forget to subscribe which is free so we'll see you in the next episode where we'll be exploring Dalian. Thank see you, you bye in the next episode, we spend our first full day exploring the resort of Dalian as we walk down by the river and up the main street. So this is one of the things that Dalian's famous for.